Hello and welcome to a beautiful, calm Saturday morning here in equally beautiful Nova Scotia. Uh, December the 12th, I believe it is, and it's definitely calm in the greenhouse anyway. Um, I'm very pleased. Those of you who've been uh, following my, uh, this greenhouse build know that I've um, literally just finished the doors, the front door and the back door of the greenhouse. So I'm fully enclosed now and I'm taking the chance with f having the greenhouse now fully enclosed to do a bit of planting. Planting in December, I hear you say. Well, the thing is, I've had these um, loafing around in the greenhouse um, in pots and I've been, I've been basically picking off here and there. I've got some rocket or arugula, as you say, in North America, some, some Asian greens, some coriander or cilantro, some different lettuces, some kale, etc. And I've had those um, loafing in the greenhouse um, down the bottom there. And I thought, well, I might as well plant them up. Now, they're not going to do a lot when I plant them up here in, um, at the top, but I don't get as much sun down there in the winter in that lower greenhouse. So I thought I might as well plant them up here. Um, and even though it will probably get a bit cooler in the, in the evening because it's, um, you know, it's bigger, what I'll do is I'll take the chance to knock up, make, quickly make, um, a, bit of a, um, a bit of a cold frame secondary protection for this bed. And hopefully, you know, I can continue to harvest off these, these leaves if they, if they continue to grow. Um, that's when I fancy eating um, salad again. Nothing's tasting very good at the moment. But come sort of late February, early March, and the, and the, the days are starting to get longer, and the odd bit of um, sunshine coming in now will start to heat the greenhouse up, these will suddenly shoot into action, and I'll be having lovely, lovely greens very early um, in, in, the, in the year. So that's a bonus. So that's what I'm going to do. Anyway, I'm going to get planting up. Right, so I'm going to start at this end, I think, um, for no other reason than it's better for the camera. What shall I plant first? I shall plant the kale first. Let's get the kale. So as you can see, you've got some nice kale here, four or five plants, and even a, little, a couple of little ones, and they'll burst into life um, with a nice bit of sunshine on them. So let's start with that, shall we? So I'll just pop these out. It's definitely, so we've got some nice, nice roots. I planted these up in September. Take that one off. And you know, they haven't done a lot, but um, they're still growing and that's the main thing. I haven't done anything particular with the soil either. This is um, just some topsoil that was delivered in a big bunch. So um, hopefully it'll have some sort of uh, nutrients in it. But that's okay, like I said, they're not gonna need a lot of nutrients over the winter. They just need a nice bit of soil to be getting on with. Definitely very pleasing to be getting my hands on some plants at this time of year. I've got more kale than I thought, I think. Okay, so that is the kale. One, two, three, four, about 12 plants. A few of them are little tiddlers, but um, 12, yep. That's a good, a good amount. Right, let's go on to the rocket, or arugula, as you North Americans call it. This likes, I mean, all of these plants like, don't mind a bit of cool weather. Now I disagree with the uh, 
the statement that they're cold weather plants. No plants particularly like um, cold weather vegetables anyway. Um, but they, they can tolerate it not being um, particularly warm and they don't like it when it's really hot because obviously they bolt and go straight to seed. Let's get this out of the way. <coughs> but at this time of year and in Nova Scotia we are um, being forecast a above average temperature winter. Now that doesn't mean it's going to be Bahamian in temperatures um, but I don't think it's going to be so much in the way of minus 20s. So that's good. And only a few more weeks. And the days are going to start getting longer. Isn't that exciting? Yeah, I've done well these. Looking good so far. Right, what should we go for next? Got these Asian greens. These have been really nice this summer and I've been picking these all the way into the autumn as well. You can definitely feel that extra warmth when the sun comes out and shines into the greenhouse. You know, obviously I think it's about five degrees outside but it's definitely nicer and warmer in here. These have grown really well. See, and I've been snapping the off odd leaf off each one of these, you know, and you take one off each one, you've soon got a decent sized salad. Need to fill up my watering can again. Okay, so, I mean, that's the plants in. Absolutely fantastic. Now, while I'm still working in here, I've got a nice bit of color um, going on around me. So that's, and it's brilliant just to get plants in the greenhouse growing in December. Anyway, that's the plants done. Let's have a look at um, making, knocking up, as I say, a quick cold frame type thing. Pretty easy, really rudimentary. If you can see here, I've just knocked some nails in the back bits all the way along in uh, spaces. And then, what am I doing? <clears throat> I've just cut some plastic conduit. You know the old white stuff? This is, um, what size is this? Three quarter, this is three quarter inch, or in, uh, in Europe and UK would be like 22 mil. And all I'm gonna do is, can we see that one? Do that one. One side in the nail, bend it. And I haven't got a nail the other side, I've just put it down um, into the earth really. And there we are, leave that like that. So I'll put these, I've, I've had to use some of this grey stuff, which is a, is a bit thicker and a bit more difficult to bend. Um, but that doesn't matter. I'll use that at the ends. Hello mate, come in. That's my boy, coming to help me on another job I'm about to do. Right, so there we go. That's the hoops in. Pretty simple, nothing too complicated. Now I haven't got much. You can come in mate. Oh, I need to open the door for you. That's okay. 
Come in there. Have us. What do you reckon? Nice and warm in here, isn't it? Right, what am I doing? Uh, so, I haven't actually got a piece of plastic long enough. I've, I've just about run out, but I'll show you the, the basic what I'm doing. As you can see in the, the video I'm showing now is the, I've done it down in the, the greenhouse down the bottom. And as you can see, the plants are, um, are going on swing, swimmingly. And that's difficult to say when uh, your throat's starting to constrict. Doing really well. So, I'm just going to put this over this, like this. Right, what do I need? Ethan Charles, can you pass me the stapler, please? <coughs> Thanks, son. I think you can get my drift. I'll get one long enough to go all the way along and it's pretty easy. It doesn't cost me much and it's easy to just lift and lower and then that just provides that little extra microclimate, bit of extra warmth. So you've got the obviously the protection of the greenhouse itself and then the extra protection of, um, of the polythene, that bit extra heat and then If it really gets cold, a nice little bit of garden fleece on top of that and the plants won't be worried. Even when it gets probably down to, you know, minus 10, minus 20 outside, these will be able to, to hunker down over the winter. And then as soon as the light of March or late February, March starts to hit the greenhouse, They'll wake up and then I'll have that really good early greens all the way through in, in early spring. There we go. Got to be happy with that. Jobs are good.